When I came across an Instagram post of Michelle Phan stating that she's been going foundation free for over a year and it has transformed her skin tremendously, my immediate reaction to that was like, yeah, it's easy for you to say that because you already have flawless canvas already. You don't have anything to hide or cover up. For the longest time, I thought going foundation free was never allowed to me because I never really had good skin. I was always struggling with acne, congestion, redness, blotchiness, pigmentation. I almost felt like I was doomed to wear foundation for the rest of my life. And foundation was the only tool that gave me confidence to walk into the meetings or walk into any kind of professional settings to become more confident and know that no one's judging me for my bad skin. I mean, you'll find a lot of cushion reviews and foundation reviews on my YouTube channel that are uploaded until last year probably. And that reflects the fact that I was heavily relying on high coverage foundation. I would rather have a layer of caked up foundation than revealing my own skin. So I was obsessed about foundation that transitioned into addiction and that was a very unhealthy relationship with me and foundation. It was really really bad to the point where I found myself I would never leave my house without wearing any foundation. I was wearing foundation to the gym and even at grocery stores and that kept going on for a long time until I read this book called The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving an F by Sarah Knight. The surprising art of caring less and getting more and achieving more in your life. She cared too much about what other people might think about herself, so she would wear makeup to walk into a supermarket. So spending that 20 minutes in applying foundation to just walk confidently in the grocery store, you can easily spend that 20 minutes in something that's more valuable in life, whether that's spending time with your dog or your children. And I think this was such a wake-up call for me. I decided to just drop my foundation at least when I go to a supermarket or a gym where no one really cares. And surprisingly, that slowly transformed my relationship with foundation. So today I wanted to share my step-by-step -step guide that I implemented in my journey of going foundation-free. And I know it's not going to be easy. For me, it took about a year to be fully comfortable in my own bare skin, to reveal it and to talk to someone with my bare skin. But if you're interested, I'm here to help you in any ways that I can. So the very first step that I took was acknowledging the fact and admitting the fact that no one really cares. Whether you have bad skin or good skin, whether you're wearing foundation or not wearing foundation, they don't really take that element to define who you are. I mean, if you have someone in your life who does that, who takes those kind of appearance to define who you are, those are the people who are not really worth keeping in your life to be honest. I if you really think about just encountering a guy who's like fully naked and he's just jogging like on the street you'll think like oh my god there's a naked jogging man but oh my god i'm late to work so i should keep going so they would resume to what they're doing and what they're thinking in their own life the second step i took is giving self affirmation enough this was the hardest part for me and it does take a lot of courage and training and a lot of failures <laughs> slowly shift the idea of how can i go foundation free to why can't I go foundation free and that will soon become I will go foundation free keep reminding yourself that you can do it and you will do it and you are determined to commit to go foundation free in your mind because everything is mind over matter and on the days that you try to go foundation free i know it's going to feel really weird and i know you're still going to feel very insecure about your skin and how it looks like that is a naturally occurring feeling i totally get it but every time you think like that you have to look at yourself in the mirror and be strong and say that you are going to honor yourself you are going to accept yourself and throughout vocalizing about what you are going to do and how you envision yourself really can give you a superpower that you really need. Step number three is to take your time. As I mentioned, it took me a full year to finally commit to going foundation free. I applied very, very small, gradual, and incremental changes in the entire process. Unless you have a very, very strong willpower and very, very strong discipline, like self-discipline, in that case, you can go cold turkey on it. If you're someone who wears makeup every single day, probably allow yourself to go foundation free on Sundays. So hashtag foundation free Sunday that I've been kind of doing on Instagram every single Sunday. Um, and then if you're more comfortable on going foundation free, allow yourself to be foundation free for the weekends. And if you're halfway there, you can only choose to wear foundation on very important meetings where you need to present yourself in a very 
flawless and neat way but um, most of the days you can probably go and liberate your skin a little bit changing from high coverage foundation to a medium coverage foundation and then finally reaching to a sheer coverage foundation is something that really really helped going foundation free doesn't mean that you have to go concealer free as well so I was watching dr. Sam Bunting's video who's a dermatologist her and she advises her acne patients to wear a very very sheer layer of foundation all over their face but then use concealer to spot conceal so that totally changed my foundation routine and that also transitioned to not wearing foundation but spot concealing with concealer so my favorite concealers that go really really well with a foundation free base are the glossier stretch concealer and also the Maybelline better skin concealer compared to a lot of other concealers out there these are very sheer in terms of the coverage once you apply a very pigmented high coverage concealer on a foundation free face it just doesn't really blend well so I highly recommend these two if you want a concealer that complements the foundation free look. Step number four is definitely to use sunscreen deliberately. Once you remove that layer of foundation that acted kind of like a physical barrier to some extent, you your skin is more exposed to UV rays, external stressors, and all that. So you still need to protect your skin from the outside world by using a decent sunscreen or anything that you really, really enjoy using. So apply sunscreen adequate amount of it and just enjoy your sunscreened skin. Last step is to sleep well and eat well. Now sleeping well is so important because it is going to allow your skin to fully rejuvenate giving you that hydrated well rested and also very brightened complexion which we refer to a very healthy complexion. Your skin is also a window of what you eat. Consume a very nutritionally balanced diet. Your skin is going to definitely definitely show that. I'm still in the process of going completely foundation free and probably concealer free um, further down the road but so far I'm really really proud of myself taking that unhealthy relationship that I had with foundation and transitioning that into something that I choose to wear foundation on the days that I I choose to wear and that made me really feel good. The second change that I noticed is definitely my skin tone or my complexion has become a lot um, healthier, a lot brighter and a lot more even. My skin would look just really dull and doesn't really look alive that's why I thought foundation would help me a lot. However when I went foundation free my skin started to revive by itself for some reason. There is no evidence or any studies stating that makeup is going to damage your skin whatsoever but in my personal experience my skin is rejuvenating a lot faster it's shedding the dead skin cells a lot faster my skin has become less dull less dehydrated and more kind of revived it, re it revived the healthy complexion that I always desired and the third thing that I learned is that no one really doesn't care <laughs> and also it just feels really good that you are owning yourself rather than makeup is owning me we are probably ruled by a lot of other perspectives a lot of other people People's opinions but it's really good to kind of you know be comfortable in your own skin and still be happy about it and still feel good about yourself without the medium that used to give you confidence and if you ever choose to do foundation free Sunday hashtag foundation free Sunday on Instagram and tag me I will be there to support you going foundation free not only changed my skin but it just changed how I perceive myself and how I cherish and value and treat myself and that is the reason why I wanted to possibly empower you guys out there it doesn't take good skin to start foundation free but it takes courage and self-affirmation i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did that really does help me a lot more than you might think if you're new to my channel definitely welcome and you can subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this i'll talk to you guys on instagram twitter at about liayu until we see each other eat healthy stay happy and stay healthy and i believe in you guys bye